good morning to all my subscribers once again welcome you to atme electric trades youtube channel with continuation with the a uh, last experiment that is communication laboratory 1 according to an vtu syllabus we discussed about a frequency modulation and demodulation by using an si lab code today in this section i am going to explain the experiment design and test bjt or fat mixer so bjt stand for an a bipolar junction transistor and fat stand for an field effective transistor so before going to the experiment first and foremost we'll give a some terminologies of an a mixer a mixer takes an rf input signal at a frequency let me call that frequency as an frf mixes with an a local oscillator signal at a frequency with the local oscillator frequency let me call as an flo and by mixing this two it produces the intermediate frequency as an output signal which is consists of summing and difference frequencies of input rf signal and local oscillator frequencies the user provides an bandpass filter that follows the mixer and selects the sum or an a different difference frequencies some points to be noted on uh, about an a mixer and their terminologies are when the sum frequency is sum of frequency is used as an if the mixer is called as an up converter when the difference is used then the mixer is called as an down converter the former is typically used in an a transient channel and later in a receiver channel in a receiver the local oscillator frequency is below the radio frequency which is called as a lower side inject injection and the mixer of low side down converter when local oscillator is above the rf signal then it is called as an high side injection and the mixer is what we called as an high high side down converter each of the output is an only of the amplitudes of the individual inputs what we are going to provided thus there is a loss of 6 db in the linear mixer but when we come for an a practical multiplier or an a mixer the conversion loss may be greater than the 6 db depending upon the scaling factor of the devices a mixer can be implemented in a several ways it can be an a active technique or it can be an a passive technique so in our experiment we have used the active technique uh, we have used the uh, both combination of active and passive so the main aim of this experiment is to design the mixer using an a bjt fet to generate desired signal and the object is what we are setting an object to in this experiment to match the frequency the theoretical theoretical value and the practical value and the components which are required for designing this test uh, design and test of an fet or a bjt uh, mixer here we use an a bjt that is an a transistor sl100 in a one quantity and resistors like 47 kilo ohm 560 ohm and 100 kilo ohm with an capacitor of two quantities of an value 0.49 micro farad and one quantity of 0.1 micro farad apart from this we use an inductor of an value 100 milli henry and the power supply is of an at 12 volts and the apparent we are going to use here as an a function generator that to in an a two number of an a function generator this is the circuit diagram of an a mixer what i have been designed so depending upon the biasing of this we have been used the a biasing for the input 
with an a value called the capacitor value of an 470 uh, nanofarad here we have gotten a two signals one is an m of m of 1 of t and m2 of t these are the two signals where we are going to be uh, mixing this two signal and we are going to obtain the output at an a collector and this combination of a capacitor and an inductor what we call as an lc circuit which acts like an a local oscillators the procedure to carry over this experiment is first as shown in an a circuit diagram we need to rig up the circuit according to the circuit diagram what we have been shown in the previous slide by assuming an a capacitor value of an 0.1 microfarad and we calculate the a value of an a inductor by an equation of an a frequency f is equal to 1 divided by 2 pi root of l1 c1 where we are assuming the frequency of an a 7 kilohertz and we are going to find then a value called as an l1 because in this we know the c1 value which is an 0.1 microfarad and we know the frequency that is an a 7 kilohertz so by determining the value of an l1 that is l1 we are going to put this value what we have been obtained that value of a, a l1 value next after designing or after finding then what is the value of an a inductor then we apply an input signals at the appropriate terminals in the circuit that is at this terminal and at this terminal we are going to be applied this terminal means well, let me call this as m of 1 m1 of t and m2 or uh, m2 of t is going to be applied at a, a appropriate terminals in the circuit and we'll note down the a frequency of the output signal in which the same as the different frequency of a given signal so the output of this mixer is an a combination of an a two things that is the this is then what the carrier signal and the modulator signals are going to be multiplied and we obtain the output similar like that here the two signals that is you can see the dotted one is an one m of t and then another signal what we have taken is an m2 of t when these two signals are gets mixed up so at a high frequencies that is uh, at the one positive uh, at the one complete cycle we are going to mix an a2 and for a next cycle again it is going to be inverted that means it is going to be uh, change its phase at an 180 degree again for another cycle again the phase is going to be shifted and for a third cycle again the phase is going to be shifted so this is the output of an um, mixer so next uh, we are going to be see the hands-on session now let us move on to the hands-on session of this bjt which is going to be shown as an a demonstration for you for the given circuit diagram 